What's up guys? Welcome back to your channel. Busy. Wasn't gonna make a video, but I'm gonna try to anyway. Um, it's nothing cool. I basically looked it up on YouTube on how to do it. So hopefully I didn't look up the wrong video. But um, radiator replacement guys has to be done. I was driving, shit popped right here. It's hard to see unless I feel it and it just starts leaking all out of here. I was driving to about 90 and all of a sudden I see like outside my my window like a like on my windshield and it's just spraying steam out the sides of my hood and it's like fuck dude something happened. I was hoping it'd be a radiator hose. I just replaced this one here the upper so just replace the cap the upper so it's time you know obviously thank god guys from what i understand there's this right down here these hoses here are for your transmission and if they if the radiator pops and it gets cross in there something bad happens so i'm hoping that i don't know what the fuck i'm doing to be honest with you i'm just going to disconnect a bunch of hoses and those i think are for your transmission cooler so i don't know if it's oil or transmission fluid from what i understand if the radiator goes bad they'll mix so that might actually be oil. So hopefully I know how to plug those and stop them from bleeding out. So I'm gonna use some like little vice grips and shit. Uh, but I'm like limited on time guys and I'm running down on light. The sun's like right there, which gives me about an hour. So I can't really video a whole bunch, but I'm gonna try to use these to clamp those hoses. I'm gonna disconnect those hoses. What I did was I took off these two brackets, these 12s right here. I took off this shroud right here. All the big screws, from what I understand, because um, there's big ones and small ones. The big ones all go in the very front because there's a longer piece of uh, plastic or something. There's a thicker piece of plastic that has to go through. So um, there's also a couple plugs that I'm going to try to disconnect right now as well. So All right. So I'm underneath the car. Cool thing is, front of the car, everything is like right here. And I think this is the fill. And I'm just going to drain it right here. Whatever is left. These are the oil lines. Oh shit. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna pull this out, but there's this line. There's this hose, this line, this plug. And I think I'm gonna have to pull this out of this radiator and plug it into the new one. And then there's these plugs up here, and I'm going to try to unplug those right now. All right, guys, so. Um, yeah, disconnected. Under this, under this. Took that shit off. Drained it, the coolant, with the little. Right here, those two plugs. There's three plugs. There's that white one you see right here. And those two up there, just simple plugs, just unplug. Now those, and then I unplug that last hose right down there. As you'll see right there already, I'm draining that in the second bucket. Now those two lines right there, I'm pretty sure for the transmission. So those are the ones I'm wary of. I don't know if they're high pressure or what. So I'm just gonna try to be real careful undoing those and see what happens and try to plug the line as soon as I possibly can. So I'm gonna get some like, maybe a nut to put at the end of it and I'm gonna try to get something to crimp the hose as well. So wish me luck. All right, so as well, I took the shroud off so I can get this because this intake has a bolt right here that's attached to the uh, thermostat. I'm hoping that's the thermostat because I bought a new one and I'm gonna pull that out right now too. We'll see what happens. All right guys, so cool thing is I took those lines off they did have nothing but transmission fluid in them I just used vice grips to crimp them up and then post them up higher level than the actual you know spout so they wouldn't lose fluid just in case I put the trays down but it looks like I'm ready to pull this bitch out um I am going to move this intake out of the way though because I want to be able to pull this whole unit out and uh one piece so I can replace everything off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off too. All right, so I took off the shroud. This was the only sensor that I needed to pull out, put it back in here. Carefully, don't go too tight, guys, it's plastic. So 
put these all back in. Um, now I'm going to go slide this in. So I was probably going to use throttle body cleaner, but I figured I'd just mess, rather use mass airflow sensor cleaner. I figure might as well be a little easier on it. I'm just going to spray it, kind of wipe it out a little bit. Alright, so underneath, I'll show you real quick. I think I got a better camera, but just to show you guys, there's those three plugs right there. Um, yeah, right there. You see that? That white one too. Plugged them all in. Now to plug in the transmission lines that I got crimped up right there. And that hose right there. And yeah, we'll see. Thermostat is in, bolts are tightened up, put this back to tight. Hoses are all clamped on, so the in, so with the in hose, the out hose, or out whatever, lower, upper, lower, whatever you want to call it. Pepway says this is a lower, this is an upper. Just make sure both are tight on top and bottom for each end. This reservoir is back in. I've been filling it up. I'm about to start it right now and try to bleed out some of that system. I'm taking it for a drive, get it warm and uh wait till it cools off and then top it off again with some more fluid um i'm gonna put on that shroud that lower guard that you can't see but um put the engine cover on then the strut tire brace let me start all right so now everything's wrapped up i didn't put any in my reservoir which i probably should have but I'm going to start it up right now. I topped it off completely. I'll try to see if any of that drops and take it for a drive. Come back, let it sit overnight. Come back, fill it up in the morning. Hopefully, we should be good to go. See how it goes. All right, guys, not the normal. All right, guys, not the normal video, but it is what it is. Lexus is fixed. No leaks. Slap on this front bumper. Should be pretty bad. All right, guys. So you guys know I ain't a professional. Don't 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 do what I do and expect to to like get great results. I'm just saying this is what I did to get the progress that I needed to get done. I could have had my mechanic do it. I could have went to Lexus and had my other mechanic do it. But hey. Good, so, I filled it up very carefully, very slowly, try to get as much air out, squeeze the hoses, try to push out some of the air, I've now heated it up uh, to running temperature, it's not overheating, it's staying right below half where it normally sits, so it's a new thermostat, new hose, new radiator, I swapped the sensor, plugged in three plugs, two transmission lines, and two radiator hose lines much in a couple brackets holding it down um, super simple job uh, so yeah not a big problem not a big deal that's just is fixed thank god it didn't mess up the transmission and blow the radiator the other way which could have been in a bad way so um, not the normal video but please uh, like comment subscribe if you guys haven't already and I uh, appreciate you guys staying tuned and like I said the next is coming I'm getting the headers probably um, but we're going with the Apexi or Apex whatever the fuck it is um, the uh, throttle controller that allows you for eight positions on the throttle control because this is a drive-by wire so as soon as that comes in that's the next project um, then the headers depending on the pricing and the wheels I gotta figure out what I want to do so um, again I appreciate you guys hanging out Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.